Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating two possible ways to fix the problem of automatic repair loop in Windows 10. This makes your Windows to keep restarting on its own and putting out some error messages. Now, there are different forms of this problem. For this laptop, when I press the power button, it starts to boot up normally, shows the HP logo screen, and then as soon as the Windows logo appears, it pops a blue screen saying your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. And then after some time, it tries to restart, shows the preparing automatic repair screen, and then the blue screen pops up again and the loop continues indefinitely. Now yours could be behaving differently, maybe it gets past this stage before popping a blue screen with the same or similar error messages. Maybe it starts restarting when you're already running applications or just some random shutdown and restart process. Generally, this could be a software-related problem, but it could also be hardware-related. In this tutorial, I'll be covering the possible hardware-related issues that could be causing this problem and how to test them out, and also the software-related fix in case this problem is coming from some corrupt or missing boot files or applications. And with that said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first, if you're experiencing this problem during Windows installation or startup, like the case of this laptop, then I would recommend you start off by testing out the different possible hardware components that could be causing this problem. This includes the hard drive, your RAM, your wireless card, graphics card, USB devices, and in the worst case scenario, the motherboard itself. Now, there are no strict rules about the order of testing out these components. However, I would recommend you start off by removing any USB devices you might have attached to your laptop before this problem started and try running without them. Some devices could interfere with normal system operations and cause such boot loop or blue screen error in your Windows. And with that out of the way, the next thing to check is the compatibility of your RAM or memories. Here you first want to check what kind of RAM your laptop requires and what kind of RAM you actually have installed on it. A quick way to do this is to search for your laptop specifications online, preferably from your manufacturer's website or some other reliable sources and check the specs of the memory or RAM that your laptop was designed to run with. Now for the case of this HP ProBook 450G1, it should be a DDR3L at 1600 MHz. Now for this consideration, clearly DDR2 and DDR4 are out of the question because they have different kind of physical sockets. The closest mismatch in this case is the DDR3 and the DDR3L because they share the same kind of socket. Most manufacturers will differentiate these two either by clearly indicating the type on the label or indicating the operating voltage of the module, with DDR3 running at 1.5 volts while DDR3L runs at 1.35 volts. For more details on how to differentiate these two, I will leave a link to a video I made on that down in the description. Now still on this spec page, you will find other parameters like the maximum supported size, the dual channel requirements, that's for the two slots available. As you can see here, having the same memory size and speed will help optimize the performance of your Windows. Most laptops will handle some differences in speed and size quite well, but not all laptops. In fact, for some laptops like this HP, it directly causes this blue screen error and boot loop problem I showed at the beginning of the video. So here I'll be replacing the RAM with the required RAM given by the manufacturer. And that alone fixed the blue screen and boot loop problem. So I recommend you start off by checking this. Another way to check if this is coming from your RAM, if you are using two RAM sticks, would be to test with one RAM at a time and see if one of them is broken or a mismatch. The next hardware component that could be causing this boot loop problem is your hard drive. Now, unlike the RAM, this is not usually the case of a mismatch. It's rather due to some dysfunctional or damaged sectors of the disk. A quick way to check this is to try using another tested disk or use a disk scanning application to check if your hard disk has some bad sectors. Another hardware component that could be causing this problem is your Wi-Fi card. Now this is quite rare but there's a number of laptop models out there that have been reported to experience such blue screen errors during Windows installation, mainly due to the Wi-Fi card. I've experienced this problem particularly with this Samsung RV511 laptop. It was running into blue screen each time I tried to install Windows 10 on it and through some online help forum it was traced to the Wi-Fi card. And by removing and replacing the Wi-Fi card the problem was resolved so that's another thing to check out. 
For the graphics card, you can check to see if your graphics card drivers are outdated and install the most recent updates. Or maybe you need to roll back a recent update if you started experiencing this issue after updating your drivers. Finally and more expensively is the possibility of this problem coming from the motherboard. In that case, there are too many things that could be wrong. So a replacement might be an option. Some motherboards are cheaper to replace than others. In some cases, it might be more cost effective to get another laptop entirely. But before you settle for any of these expensive options, here is a possible software fix that might resolve the problem. The approach here would be to use the registry backup command called regback. What this command does is to replace your registry configuration with the last known good configuration you have on your PC. So basically changing your registry configuration to the configuration of your most recent successful boot up. To do that, you will need to get to the startup repair screen. Normally when your PC gets into this boot loop problem due to software related issues, after a few attempts, it should pop up a startup repair screen like this. From here, select advanced options, then troubleshoot advanced options and on this page click on the command prompt option it should pop up this command prompt terminal here type the letter of the disk drive where you installed your operating system usually it's the c drive in some cases it could be drive d if you have configured it so here type the letter c and colon and then hit enter now type dir and hit enter here if you find the folders program files and program files x86 together with the other folders like users and windows then you are in the right drive otherwise type the letter d colon and hit enter then dir so as you can see here are the directories i was expecting to see so i'm now in the right drive now before running the reg back command i will back up the current registry in case i have some need to restore it afterwards for that i will type in the command cd space backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config and hit enter then type md space backup as shown on the screen and hit enter now type copy space asterisk dot asterisk space backup as shown on the screen and hit enter then wait a bit for the files to be copied after that, type in cd space regback and hit enter. Then type dir once again. And here you should have a bunch of items with some 6 to 7 or 9 digit numbers next to them. Now here is an important note. If you do not see the kind of numbers I just described or if you have zeros like I have in this case, then just exit this fix and try some other solutions. For this solution to be feasible and to avoid further complications to your computer, please check that you have the kind of numbers I mentioned here, otherwise just type exit and try some other suggestions. If you have valid numbers here, then go ahead and type the command copy space asterisk dot asterisk space dot dot and hit enter. Then type the letter A and hit enter to override all. Finally type exit and hit enter to complete the process. Now this should take you back to this page where you can choose to continue to start up your computer or to shut down. However, if all these suggestions fail, then you can consider running a system restore. For that, you will need to make a bootable USB with Windows 10 installation files. I have included that in the video I made as one of the ways to fix the blue screen of death problem in Windows. I will add the link in the video description. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.